Hi, my name is Alicia. I'm from Wilmington, Delaware. Today I'll be installing a hitch on a Subaru Forester. Let's get started. You will need the tool seen here to complete this installation. First step I need to do is lower the exhaust. I'm going to use my stability strap to angle it below the exhaust. I'll remove the rubber mallets on each side of this exhaust here. Use my soapy water spray. Then there will be one more to lower, which should be here in the center. Next step, I'll need to remove the heat shield using a 10 millimeter. A millimeter in the socket. I had to remove four more. Set this aside for reinstallment later. Right here, just to gain access for the hitch to go into place. Set this aside. All right, next step, I need to expose these three holes here to put the bolts inside. I'm gonna take a flathead screwdriver to release the holes. Just pop them right on out. All right, now that these holes are clear and clear, I'll access my bolts. Now that my holes are exposed, I need to get this bolt and this carriage spacer into the frame of the vehicle. By doing that, I use this hardware provided, which is a fish wire, and I'm going to access this through this hole here. Remove this tab, pop that out, then I'll proceed. Once the wire is free, I'll add, put my spacer on there push it through. Then next, I'll twist the bolt onto the wire. Once that's done, I'll insert the bolt and pull through. And I'll repeat the same steps through this hole and this excess hole as well on the passenger side. All right. Next step, we will raise the hitch in position. But before I do that, I have to remove these two push tabs here using a flathead screwdriver. We'll loosen it up on each side. Then I'll be prying back the push tab 
behind the fascia so I could be able to access the hitch in place on both sides. Next, I'll put the hitch in position. All right, now in order for it to get the hitch in place, we had to cut out the bumper fascia. I'm going to be using the air tube with a cutter. Now we're ready to put the hitch up to check the cutting. Now that our fascia cut is done, hitch is in place, our next step is to remove the fish wire and put the nuts and washers on. Now you can screw them off or just pull them straight off. They'll come right off. Once the fish wire is moved, you will put the Wash your one teeth face up towards the hitch, and then you'll use the nuts to twist it on. Now you'll hand tighten these until it's completed on both step, both sides, which should be the passenger side also. All right, now that I got the driver's side done and the passenger side loose and tightened, I need to replace back the heat shield. Let's get into it. I'm going to reinstall back the screws that I removed. Using my 10 millimeter, I'm going to tighten them all back down. All right, now that the heat shield's up, we're going to use the cordless impact 5 inch and 11 16 to tighten up the Nice. Slide this over a little. All right, now after using the cordless impact, I'm going to use a torque wrench and I'm going to torque it up to 50 pounds. Standing into giving me more leverage. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna complete the same step on the passenger side. After torquing is done, I will need to put the exhaust hangers back up. But in order to do that, I think it's easier for me to remove this one off and put the other one up top. First, there's the hitch up. And then, once it's all the way back, just pull on it a little bit. Then I'll repeat the same step on the rear one. Last one. Then I can go ahead and remove my stability strap. Next, I'll re-bend back the tabs. I previously bend it up forward in the beginning to put the push pins back. We do each side that way. All right, now that our hitch is complete, you have your two inch receiver. Hoops for safety chains, the crossbar is completely hidden. 
If you are ready to go outdoors, have fun and be safe. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day. To learn more about the product seen in this video or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.